In 2021, Indian Motorcycle reimagined the iconic Indian Chief. Now, three renowned custom builders are showcasing the Indian Chief's virtually unlimited possibilities to make it your own. I mean, I started doing art as soon as I can hold a pencil, drawing and coloring. And I took art classes in high school and my friends you know, made art and stuff like that, but I really wasn't the best student. And then one day my friend opened a tattoo shop. We used to do art in high school together. And he was like, hey man, you should learn how to tattoo. From then, like my life kind of changed just because I was kind of rebellious and kind of pissed off at the world. And I didn't remember art. So art kind of brought me back to like my center. But when I started tattooing, I did everything, you know. People started asking me for portraits. And so that kind of took off. And that's what I do. I do colored portraits and black and gray portraits. I mean, I'm a nerd. Like honestly, like I just liked comics. That's what taught me how to draw. I didn't read them but I just liked the artwork. Older, the movie started coming out and it just naturally gravitated toward that stuff and all these fellow nerds started coming to me too to get these tattoos and I love it, man. As I get older, the craftsmanship is more important to me than anything, you know? I think taking the time to make something from nothing is difficult and it's vulnerable. Like only a craftsman can really appreciate those small nuances that are like, how did you do that? People see it, ah, it's just a tattoo or it's just that, you know what I mean? But people that know, they'll like look in and they're like, ah, you know that. So I get it with the bikes like that, man. And that's the stuff I like. I'm like, damn, that looks hard, you know? Definitely seen his work. It's, I mean, it's mind blowing. You know, it's those images that you, you save just so that you can look back at them in more detail because you can't believe that that's on skin. Yeah, there's definitely parallels between the bike building and, and tattooing. I mean, there's definitely uh, structural similarities to design and color theory and layout and all those things certainly factor in. Being really steeped in that culture of, of either one, they become a part of you. You know, you're kind of thinking about them 24-7. I definitely think there's parallels of commitment and of really being a part of it. As far as Nico seeing this bike, really hardly anybody's seen this bike yet, as of right now, us sitting here. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about his reaction. Hopefully it's a good one. So my earliest memory of motorcycles was like a dirt bike, you know? And uh, my cousin had one, a little 80. And we used to ride it around the desert when we'd go visit my grandparents. And so, cause my dad started building bikes. And so he was building them with his friends and I got one from him. And, and then I had my other friend help me build it out the way I wanted it. And now that I'm older, I like all kinds of bikes, man. I just like riding. It's nice to get out there. Nice truck. What's up, dude? It is nice. What's up, guys? How are you? How are you guys doing? Good. Good. Nice. Nice, Good. To, nice meet you. to meet you guys. Nice to meet you, man. Nice. You want to check it out? Yeah, let's check it out. Cool. Yeah. cool. Honestly, as far as when a bike is done, and the client gets it or sees it for the first time. I've been fortunate that most of the times they just kind of want to be surprised and that's the best. Wow. There you go. Why don't you hop on it? Yeah, I was gonna do that. Yeah. yeah. See what it feels like. The initial thing I seen was the Springer front end, you know, and the way it's done, like the dual shocks and it's different. It looks like a modern take on an old thing. Like I love the, the contrast between the color of the seat and the whole body. You know, the bike's beautiful, man. I love the way the fender sits on the rear tire, all the little details, you know, but it looks crazy, man. It's, it's, I'm impressed. It's beautiful. I really appreciate the people that I get to tattoo. I just want to do my best for them. And I'm sure that's how Paul and Kano feel. If you know you did your very best and you love what you do, like when someone's face lights up, like to me, that's the most amazing thing. Like that's what I live for is like watching their face and seeing them light up. Everything else is a plus. I'm, I mean, obviously looking at the bike, like I'm stoked, you know what I mean? This is, I mean, it's nuts. Like I'm almost overwhelmed like by everything, you know, and so, uh, if I'm a little nervous, probably because I am a little nervous, because I'm usually not on the receiving end of things, you know what I mean? So, yeah.